Hello loves and welcome to Scarlet Ray Aerial Arts and Dance Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about stretching and using the exercise ball. Um, I love using the exercise ball to really focus on some deep stretches for my hamstrings and hip flexors. I don't really like doing static stretching. It doesn't feel good to my body. I don't like it. So I like to find creative ways to stretch um, that help really move my body in more of a flow and ease than just holding these stretches um, for like a minute, you know, upright with no equipment. So let's first talk about the exercise ball. Today I'm gonna use a large exercise ball. Um, you can, could they come in different sizes? Um, I like the, the bigger one. This one comes up to about my belly button height. I think it's a large and maybe an extra large, I don't know. I think it's a large exercise ball. Um, so for this one, um, size matters <laughs> with your ball. It is so funny to say that. But um, I like using this one because it helps elevate my body a little higher up for some stretches that are gonna really open up the hips in the front. So let's first talk about balancing on the ball. So when we get our exercise ball, it is okay if you feel a little awkward and clumsy at trying to get your leg up, especially when you're using the larger size exercise ball. Um, some things I like to do to start, I'm just gonna go over a few movements. I'm not going to break them down and, and go like a long video. I just wanna show you some few quick tips. So. For opening the hamstrings, I like to take my leg up on the ball. So this is gonna take some balance. And listen, if you fall over, this is what it's all about, right? Laugh at yourself, because it's fun. Um, for this position, if you have tender knees, I would recommend wearing knee pads, or place a pillow or something with soft uh, texture underneath the back knee to help give it a little bit of um, separation from the hard surface of the floor. Um, that way you're not pressing down into the ground um, if it does hurt your kneecaps. Um, I have knees of steel, so I'm just going to go balls to the wall. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so for this one, when you have the ball, you want to set your leg up on it, and you want to try to center the leg into the ball and center the ball. You're going to take both hands, both sides of the ball, and we're going to press our heel into the ball to give it a little bit more pressure and control. And from here, we want to rock your body forward. So you're pressing through the back of the hamstring. You're going to feel it right here when you press it down. And then we're going to roll it back a little bit. Then you're going to press forward and sink a little bit further down and press back. When you're doing this, you're focusing all of your energy and pressing your body and your hips down towards the floor. So if I was just rolling back and forth like this, I'm not going to have the same effect with stretching as if I'm pressing my energy and focus down. So I'm going down towards the floor and then coming back up. So I'm really pushing my body downwards motion and holding. You're gonna feel that here and you're gonna feel the back leg too to help open up your hamstrings and your hips. Tip number one. Okay, so we're gonna take that same motion, but if you wanna keep your leg up on the ball to rotate, that's fine, but we're gonna go to a second exercise I like to do. We're gonna use that same motion with the leg up on the ball, but this time instead of having our body facing forward and squared over it, we're gonna keep our knee facing up to the ceiling and we're gonna rotate our body out. The back knee is gonna turn open a little bit, so the back foot's gonna like flip around. It's like a lever. So let me do it this way so you can see. I'm going up in this position, my back leg's gonna give me the stability. I'm coming up, lifting the leg up, reaching across, setting on the ball. See how the back foot will toggle back and forth? It's gonna help control my body position. So for this one, I wanna set it to where the ball, the leg is directly in line, going forward like a 180, and I'm gonna use my back foot, more of a diagonal to space to help give the balance position. And now we're gonna sink our hips down again to the floor and push back out. You can take the ball further out to have more of a lengthening stretch, opening and then back in, coming forward and back in. Same thing with pushing the hips down to the ground and back in. Yes? So your ball might be like, woo! Push down and hold. You can hold your hand there for stability, pressing down and open. All right, so I'm gonna leave this foot on the ball and we're gonna rotate around. And this is one of my favorite stretches for the back leg. 
So when we're focusing on our splits, we tend to always really kind of hyper-focus on the front leg, but that back leg is so important too. It's the one that we need to get flat on the floor. Usually it's the one that holds us up from actually having squared properly in the right position. So when we use the ball, it helps on that alignment. So first and foremost, you want to make sure the ball is centered, your leg is centered on the ball, back, and it is centered in the mat, right? So you have your knee on it at first. The front leg is going to come forward in a nice position to where you're pushing your body back towards the ball. From here, you're going to have your hands placed on the floor, shoulders pressed up, squeezing your scapulas towards each other. I use the heels of my hands to press into the ground, and I'm going to lift my head up and squeeze. From here, I'm going to push back towards the ball. Woo, yes. Pushing back towards the ball. I'm going to really focus on that back leg. You're going to feel this in the back hip, going all the way up the hip into this, like on the exterior part. Like you're going to feel it as if your hip's opening. So as you're pressing back, push into it and hold. Really focus on that back leg. Your energy is going into pressing into that ball back and push forward. Now, the last thing you can do to kind of advance it and open it to work on your straddles is we're going to take that front leg and slide it out to the side, flex that foot a little bit to the, out to the side, and then we're going to do the same motion, push back, whoo, and then come forward, and push back, and come forward. When I'm doing this exercise, I'm pressing my low back, almost arching it slightly, pushing it into the ground, looking up, and really focusing on holding the pressure in the back leg that's on the ball, and you're going to feel the inside of the thigh here, and you can probably feel it a little bit on the outside as well. And you want to rock this back and forth and opening and really pressing through and letting that stretch really get isolated in your hip flexors. Good. So for me, using the exercise ball has really expedited my flexibility journey. It isolates my body in the proper technique so that I can actually focus on the muscles I'm trying to stretch and extend. Um, instead of having my full body trying to hold me up and feeling like everything is in motion I'm using. Um, to like, you know, if I don't have an exercise ball and I'm here for the same thing, I can still isolate that. But when you have it elevated, you're really deeply stretching into your hip flexors, your hamstrings, your low back, your glutes all the fun things we need for those splits and straddles. So keep viewing y'all, keep watching. I'm gonna keep uploading tips for flexibility for you guys so that you can practice this stuff at home. Um, if you have any questions ever about these exercises, please do not hesitate to contact me. I'm here to help in any way that I can. We do teach online classes. You are more than welcome to come in and drop in some of my stretch classes online with Scarlet Ray, Yellow Arts and Dance. Um, just go to www.scarletray.com and check out our website. You can click on the schedule from there. It'll link you to our booking site, which we use BookWin to schedule our classes. So you can kind of check out our schedule and what's available. I hope you found this video helpful for you. If you did, please press that little like button. Um, you can share it with your friends if you want to, and keep an eye out because we do have more videos coming up. Thank you. Happy stretching.